Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. All right, so at the town hall, the uh, the lady over at CNN. What's her name? Didn't get it, did she? Mm-mm, I don't care. She's a hack journalist. She works for CNN. I agree with that. I mean, if she is a respectable journalist, okay, I'll give it a name. You give it up, give us some respect. I give her some respect, but yeah. I ain't giving you no She was interrogating during the whole damn town hall. Now you'd make a damn great investigator for the <laughs> FBI. <laughs> but anyway, she brought up the uh the the civil trial that Trump just went through that he yeah. got uh found guilty of, right? So go ahead and pull up the uh website and uh a Manhattan <clears throat> a Manhattan federal jury found that Donald Trump sexually abused <laughs> Carol in a luxury department store dressing room okay. in the spring of nineteen ninety six awarded her five million dollars for battery and defamation. Carol What, what evidence mean, wait a minute. Don't mean to cut you off, Keith. Slow down. What evidence did they have did that, that occurred? Did they find some semen? Some blood? Some pictures? Video? What evidence? Did they see Trump's nuts just hanging out of it? <laughs> I mean, dude, they got a photo behind Trump in the act, and all you see is his nuts hanging out. <laughs> Did they find any semen? No, nah, there's no, no, no blood or anything. No, nah, it's just her word against his. He said he never met for in her life, and she said she he got raped. So, okay, I believe her. Wow, that is such a contradiction. <laughs> one said, one part is saying, hey, he raped me in a, in a um, fitting room. The other one said, I'd never seen you before a day in my life. Somebody's lying. <laughs> well, the the jury that is quite a contradiction, man. Yeah, the jury believed her. Pull back up the uh, article. Why would you believe her? There's no evidence. There's no blood. There's yeah. no semen. Hey, how much? How much? You ain't got no photos of Trump's nuts hanging out. You ain't got none of that. All right, we okay. I get it. I don't understand how you can convict somebody with no evidence on a civil. Even though it's a civil trial, I understand that, but you got to have evidence. You got to have some semen. Her you got to have some nuts Kevin, hanging out. Kevin. You got to have some blood. Her you got to have some photos. You know? Her word is, her, is, the, uh, is the evidence. That's the not you need it. That's not enough. You had to have some, corrob- some corroborating evidence. You got to have some semen, some you blood. Need, you need some evidence to substantiate and validate the claim. You got to validate. You got, I need some corroboration. There's no blood. There's no semen. There's no pictures. No nuts hanging. You say, None of that. No erections. No skeet flying across the picture. <laughs> nothing. So just a person saying, hey, oh, he, he took advantage of me. He forced himself inside of me. And, yeah. that, and that's good enough? They treated Trump like he's black. <laughs> <laughs> they treated Trump like he's black, and we're going through the civil rights era. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the little part right here, Kim. Uh, while the jury found that Trump sexually abused Carol. How so- did they find that he sexually abused her? <laughs> Cause Where's the say- semen? Where's the nuts hanging? Where's the blood? <laughs> How did they find him guilty? It, this is crazy. Yeah, look. There's no semen. There's no blood. There's no dick pics. There's nothing. <laughs> Let me keep reading, Kevin. Okay. While the jury found that Trump sexually abused Carol. How did they find him? Sufficient to hold him liable for battery. The jury did not find that she proved her that he raped her. He does not face any jail time as a result of the civil verdict. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Um. She said Carol alleged Trump raped her in the uh, department store and then defamed her <laughs> when he denied a claim. So they, <laughs> that's why she got $5 million. He defamed her. Yeah, they treat but Trump I like guess, a nigga from the 60s. What? Yeah, you did. You better, not, you better stop denying it. Guilty. So you can't deny allegations. Yeah. That's if, crazy. If you deny them, it's defamation. In New York, anyway. That is insane. Yeah, but so somebody accused him. That didn't happen. You're a liar. I get sued for defamation. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got to pay what five million dollars? Ain't paying you shit. <laughs> he can, I'm gonna write you a check. And that bitch gonna bounce. <laughs> no, that's another charge. Get no, up, that's man. gonna be a twenty five dollar draft fee, <laughs> overdraft fee. That's all. I, I ain't paying you. I ain't paying you nothing. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Hey, so last Put it on my credit report. I don't give a damn. I got billions. I just start paying for everything in cash. I ain't paying no shit. So last night at the town hall, she brings up that question. And this is, check out Trump. He's, this is prime Trump right here. This is prime Trump. Because what's happening is they're doing this for 
election interference. This woman, I don't know her. I never met her. I have no idea who she is. I had a picture taken years ago with her and her husband, nice guy, John Johnson. He was a newscaster, very nice man. She called him an ape. <laughs> Happens to be Afri African American. Called him an ape. The judge wouldn't allow us to put that in. Her dog or her cat was named Vagina. The judge wouldn't allow it to put that in. All of these things. He would, but with her, they could put in anything. Access this Hollywood. This was a jury put in of anything. nine people who found right. you liable of sexual abuse. Do you think that, that that will deter women from voting for you? No, I don't think so, because I think the whole thing... Just so you understand. Ready? I never met this woman. I never saw this woman. This woman said, I met her at the front door of Bergdorf Goodwin, which I rarely go into, other than for a couple of charities. I met her in the front door. She was about 60 years old, and this is like 22, 23 years ago. I met her in the front door of Bergdorf Goodman. I was immediately attracted to her, and she was immediately attracted to me. And we had this great chemistry. We're walking into a crowded department, so... We had this great chemistry, and a few minutes later, we end up in a, a room, a dressing room, of Bergdorf Goodman, <laughs> right near the cash register. And then she found out there were locks on the door, so she said, I found one that was open. She found one. She learned this at trial. She found one that was open. What kind of a woman meets somebody and brings them up, and within minutes, you're playing hanky-panky in a dressing room, okay? <laughs> I don't know if he was, he was married then or not. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, John Johnson. Mr. President, can I... <laughs> no, but think, think of it. Think uh, of it. I know you're recounting what she said, but Mr. But, President... But let, let me just, if I could, because you asked the question. This was a Just jury, so you understand, though. if I was walking in at the park, because I was very famous then, and I owned the Plaza Hotel right next door, and I owned buildings around it, I'm not going into a dressing room of a crowded department store. Then I say, if she was... Being raped. And by the way, they said she wasn't raped. Okay, that was her charge. She wasn't. They found they that you did, they found, abused her. No, no, what, say what they, they did. They said he didn't rape her. And did I didn't do anything else either. You know what? Because I have no idea who the hell she is. But Mr. President, I don't know can, who I, this woman can is. I ask you, given your recounting I your version? I don't know who, and, and I tell you this. But Mr. President, are you ready? Can I, can I, and I can swear I ask on you my because... children, which I never do, I have no idea who this woman This is a fake story made up. Story. We had a horrible Clinton appointed judge. He was horrible. He allowed her to put everything in. He allowed us to put nothing in. Mr. President, this is a you're fake recounting your version story. of events here right now to the audience. You referenced the trial. You did not go to the trial and actually right. testify. Do you wish that you had testified? No, it wouldn't have made a difference. This was a rigged deal. This was a. My lawyer said, Sir, you don't have to do it. I actually said, I think I should. It would be respectful. They said, Sir, don't do it. This is a fake story, and you don't want to give it credibility. One That's thing why you, I didn't go. One thing you did do in this... And I swear, and I've never done that, and I swear to... I have no idea who the hell... She's a Mr. whack President, job. Mr. President, you, you did not testify... <laughs> <laughs> Trump wrote to that woman, man. He uh, got that hand action He's like, yes, it's a whack job. <laughs> <laughs> whack job. <laughs> you know, when he get them hands out, he's serious. Yeah. <laughs> this is a crazy time, man. That's crazy, man. He actually defamed her by denying the allegations. Think, but think about what she said. Hmm. Department store. Yeah. If I'm gonna rape somebody, man, I'm gonna do it in a dark alley. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna do it in front of hundreds of people inside of a busy, uh, affluent department but, store. But you wouldn't do that at all. I, I, I'm not saying I would. I, no, I'm not a rapist. But if I was a rapist, I would do it in a dark alley. <laughs> I would do it in a dressing room where there's cameras. You know, there's cameras in there. In the dressing room? No, when you walk through the department yeah, store. Yeah, not in the dressing room. Well, who knows? Back in those days, he probably did. <laughs> a bunch of you. Yeah. A bunch of creeps in department stores. I believe Trump, man. I don't think he met her. He might have met her, might have saw her. You know, but I don't think he actually knew the person. I don't think this actually happened. Just a, like he said, it's a, it's a fake story, too. They're trying to create this constant echo chamber of negative news about Trump, and they hopefully... Hopefully, it will influence and sway voters' allegiances back to the Democratic Party. I don't think anybody with a rational mind is going to believe this. Yeah, she even has a cat named Fajana, or dog or something. Called her, her husband, who's black at the time, an ape. And then she went on CNN and said this.
I mean, that's just very weird for you to say rape is sexy. It's just a weird woman. Yeah. And at the time, she was around 60 when this happened? Come on, now. If I'm going to rape somebody, it's going to be a hot, sexy woman in a dark alley. If she's stupid enough to walk in dark alleys. But you wouldn't do it. No, I would never do that. I've never forced myself on women. You know why? Why? Don't have to. They forced themselves on me. Damn good show. Damn good show. Everybody, don't forget we're giving away a Chevy High Country with the Duramax transmissions in high definition. Enter the contest is go on my website, officialhorsetwins.com. End of the day. All you got to do is buy anything. Bracelet, shirt, doesn't matter. End of the contest. Yeah.